I can't believe I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard seeing our, our posters, seeing my mug around. It's just, it's really out of body. It's like starting to hit me that this thing is going to be out in the world and I just could not be more proud of it. I like, am really trying not to cry. Oh, well, I was, I mean, I was out of body. I didn't think it was, honestly, I was, it was like a fever dream. I didn't think that this centuries old witch that hardly anyone had known from the comics was going to get anywhere close to her own show. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd pop up in some cameos, but the fact that she has her own is pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Oh, I mean, Daniel, I don't know if you had a chance to talk to him. Our amazing costume designer has, he's incredible, and he really put us in some fab, fabulous, fabulous, incredible. He's, in, he's a genius as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's hard to tell, like, who's a real witch, who's a not a witch, who's a, in the cast, who's not, because there's so many, like, people cosplaying. It's amazing. Um, I was not expecting that. Um, it's so cool to, like, have the fans mingling about. Um, so the energy is kind of, like, charged. It's, like, super witchy. Everyone's, like, dropping spells and um, hexes, and you kind of have to watch your back, which I like. It's so crazy. Um, I think that's what's fun about Marvel is just that's what it is. It's the fans. It's the excitement about the characters and feeling like, oh my God, like the work that I'm doing is like actually meaningful and people, you know, it's inspiring people to get a little bit crazy. So I love it. Um, I was definitely, I mean, Catherine Hahn warned me. She was like, this is no joke. Like once you're on one of these shows, like, there is such a huge fan base and excitement about it, like it's insane. So I was kind of a little bit nervous about it, honestly, but um, but I treated it like every other show and I think I'm just so happy they let me play this character because it's like, I can't spoil it, but what happens, the reveal is pretty 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 amazing and I think for the fans especially, they're gonna, they're gonna go crazy. I know, I like to play pranks. I like to keep everybody on their toes. Um, I don't know. At one point, I I would I was getting on the mic a lot, like and um, doing like scary Halloween sounds and trying to make it like a haunted house. And then one time I started blasting Evita because Patty had left, and I was like blasting Evita while the crew was working and setting up the next shot. I just try to create like a weird vibe, you know. I just try to get everyone like like whoa, like what's gonna happen next. It's amazing. It feels like a reunion. I'm just seeing. I was like, oh, that's Kanye. Oh, that's all these people. This is my first premiere, so it's a very cool first premiere to go to. Yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing. You know, I've I've been a big fan of Marvel since I was a kid. So to now, like, I don't know, be part of the MCU is is a pretty surreal surreal moment. Honestly, like, so much excitement and then terrifying nerves. But you know, when you when we go into filming it, it was just the best time. I had so much fun. Catherine is the most incredible actress. She's the most like giving person. She gives so much into her team partners and everything. And you know, I, I as a young actor, I really learned so much from working with her. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it didn't feel real. I there was the whole time I was auditioning, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get this job. And I actually my callback. I was in the middle of the ocean and I filmed my callback with my iPhone resting on top of a wine box and like because I, I just was like there's no way I'm gonna get this job and I just kind of turned it in because I was like I don't know so the whole thing felt impossible so it feels really surreal to be here today. I mean the music in the show is pretty lit uh, I, I'm not gonna be humble about that but I can't take credit for it because it's Bobby and Christina Lopez and they're they're geniuses uh, the music is great I'm, I'm really really ex there's more music to come so I mean this is this is three years in the making and if you count WandaVision it's six years in the making so this is an enormous deal and it feels very witchy and powerful and spooky and mischievous um, and yeah I'm sort of levitating I mean, we're going to see all the versions, which is kind of the point. Um, this is a lady who likes to wear a lot of masks, likes to put on a lot of theatricality. Um, but I think what will be different is um, we will get under those layers and we'll, we'll learn more of her actual truth. I, you know, it's sort of, it, there's a reason it's called Agatha all along. It sort of felt faded. And we say in the show that, that covens are faded, you know, and there's something that felt so right about you know, on the heels of WandaVision, that Agatha is the character that we follow. This was like magic. This was like just walking into a whole different world. It was, it was kind of great.
It's kind of great. I've never experienced that. Um, this was so much fun because it was so much imagination and, and um, I just was really grateful to have it and, and to be able to experience it. It's, it's kind of a great thing for me right now. Well, I haven't seen them yet. I saw Joe and I saw Deborah Joe, um, but I haven't seen, and I saw Sashia this afternoon and I saw Catherine and Aubrey in New York. The only one that I haven't seen is Allie. We are a coven. We are, we became a coven. Um, we became just really sweet friends while we were shooting. So it's exciting to be here and it's exciting that it's finally out, Agatha, all along. Um, it's been like a year and a half, I think, since we shot it. So I'm really excited and I'm hoping that the audience is like it as much as I liked it and had fun shooting it. Well, I um, was shocked. <laughs> Um, but I never uh, take for granted the roles that come in my direction. Um, and this was a surprise, and it was a welcome surprise, actually. I thought, why not? And, and actually, I feel like I am a Sicilian witch, so it's, I'm just following my destiny, I guess. Oh, it's so exciting. Like it's, it's like a reunion. All these people that we worked with for so long, we actually get to see the fruits of our labor on the purple carpet. It's just like so cool, literally magical. It's it's very exciting. <laughs> I mean, this job is a dream. Like I've wanted to be in the Marvel Universe for so long and to be as, in it as a witch is just like all the things. It checks all my boxes and uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a hard yes to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, we the the show references so much, so many different horror genres, so many different time genres. I think people are going to be excited to see all the different looks, different sets, different costumes. It's just so fun. It was so special. Yeah, they really made the road and made us kind of in the woods and seeing it in real time with everybody else was so awesome because, you know, you don't always get that. And I, I think the set designers really got to flex their muscles by creating a whole world for us to perform in and it really enhanced our performance too. Yeah, it's humongous energy. It's like I can feel my veins vibrating, you know what I mean? It's like everyone's so excited for this expansion to the MCU and I'm super humbled and thrilled to be a part of it. I was gagged, obviously, like it was amazing. Um, it blew my mind that they were down to work with me and it's, it's so, so, I can't even describe the feeling of how um, humbling it feels to step into a world like this. One that's so detail oriented and also one that works with stars of such a, an amazing caliber. Yeah. Well, as I said, it's like they're super detail oriented. They care about everything down to the finest little detail. Um, not to mention on this show in particular, a lot of practical effects were used. So um, they weren't really uh, relying too heavily on CGI. They really were about making the magic happen in the moment, which I think will translate to a really authentic use of that magic on screen. I mean, it's super exciting. Um, it's my first time walking this carpet. And um, these, these women are just fierce. Uh, their imaginations are wild. Like, I just feel like we're moving into the future with women who are fearless. And I feel like that, that energy here, like they're bringing us, they're bringing us on a ride. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to be on it, you know? Um, it's great, it feels great. It's electric, it's so incredible. Everyone looks amazing. I mean, look at Sashir, she looks amazing. I haven't seen Sashir or Patty or any of the cast since we wrapped, you know, we text, but getting to see them in person after all this time is incredible. And I just can't wait to be able to watch the show with everyone together. I'm so excited. It was literally a dream come true. I remember I was in the theater watching Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness, and I called my team. I was like, you need to get me into Marvel because this is incredible and I need to be a part of it. And then like two weeks later, they called and I'm like, all right, you're up for Agatha. And I was like, yes! So I was so excited. I'm a huge Marvel fan, huge fan of WandaVision, huge fan of Katherine Hahn. So it was literally a, a dream come true. She's so talented. I was so lucky. I got to be there when the Lopez's recorded the song and getting to hear each of them sing their tracks. They're all so brilliant. And then we played it back together and it was all mixed. Like people were sobbing. It was so cool. 
It's so exciting. I was actually really surprised when we were driving up, and I don't know what I expected, but I was so surprised about how many people there were and also seeing how many people were dressed up. And so it's really exciting and vibrant, and I think it's actually been maybe like a little bit of a long wait from when WandaVision first premiered. And so I think everybody's really thrilled to see like the next you know, iteration of the story. I was so excited. Um, obviously, like I, one of my favorite movies is Iron Man, <laughs> and that really—I mean—that was such a big deal when I saw it in the theater. And so I've always loved these movies and how they're, you know, like the American myth, you know. And so I was so excited to be a part of it. I love it, and I love how all of the wor uh, worlds like interact and touch one another. And so I was like so excited that we're like in one part of the story, like in this little satellite, but it also, you know, touches all of these other stories and parts of the universe. And so I was really excited. <laughs> It's so exciting to be able to celebrate with everyone. It feels like mother has com come home. Agatha is here, and we're so excited to share this all, especially around the Halloween season. It's very on theme. We're very excited. Well, I think we really get to see all of her shades. We saw so much of that and how she's a liar from uh, WandaVision, but really Catherine Hahn just delivers an incredible performance in this and, you know, from extreme hilarious comedy to you know deep, deep tragedy and drama, she is able to deliver every color under the rainbow. Um, so we're really excited to, to be able to share that. You know, it's been a very long time in the making. I actually got the call saying that I'd gotten this job over two and a half years ago, and we wrapped the show June of last year, so it's really exciting to finally be here, to get reconnected with everybody, and to finally have the world see this, in, I guess, mad, chaotic, and beautiful show that I think is really going to rock people's bottoms. Well, it was interesting because when Marvel came to me with the project, it wasn't really it wasn't the previous, the obvious work that I'd done before that got them excited about working with me. It was actually the most kind of cult body horror show that I'd done, low budget body horror show. So it's really awesome to see that, you know, the, the grittiness and the sort of culty underground textures and colors that, that were so, pro they were so prominent in the other show, uh, we were able to sort of, you know, bring in and fuse it into this one. I think people are just going to have a really good time. And honestly, any show that gets to showcase Katherine Hahn at her most amazing is, is a win. I think people are just going to have a really good time. She's absolutely incredible. Everybody's incredible. Jack Schaefer did it yet again. This is the third time I've been able to work with Jack, and she's just the best. She creates an absolutely, like, such an inviting, warm, comforting, fun set. Um, just, I think that will translate. I'm excited. The energy on the carpet tonight is uh, its very witchy. I think that it's, I would call it Hollywood witchy. Uh, and I'm thrilled to be at this moment. It feels like a great achievement. It feels like uh, a night to really share. Uh, we've been waiting a long time to reveal these witches to the MCU and to the greater world. And I just couldn't be happier of what we are showing tonight. Yeah, um, you know, well, just like WandaVision did, where we got to jump through different uh, television shows, this does a lot of magical transformation as well. So we got to jump genres this time. And, uh, you know, we go to the 70s, we go to the 80s, we see a little bit of horror, we, um, you know, we, we get to also be in present day. So we, we do a sort of magical jumping back and forth, which is really fun. Um, always exciting after working on something for so long and these Marvel series especially compared to a movie I mean every project that we do or I do there's a lot of blood sweat and tears that are poured into it over a long period of time but these Marvel shows in particular um, are um, labors of love and it's so exciting to finally come uh, with all of us who worked on it and a bunch of other people who are really really excited to see it and finally like feel the energy in, in the theater when it's when it's played, yeah. I don't know if we can use the word too much, but magical, you know, it's, it's such a journey going going through from start to finish, and now we get to finally share with the world. And yeah, and this is his first red carpet first ever, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think for this it was really fun, because 
we're one, we're developing the world of WandaVision where we first meet Agatha and now we're really getting into her backstory and who, who she is as a character. Um, and also in the same way that, you know, there's the story follows different like pop culture references and inspirations. So the music's really following that as well, following the set design, the costumes and you know, really trying to reflect these different eras.